hello welcome back to my channel today is easter day happy easter to everyone yes i went to church so that was the reason why i'm cooking late because i'm cooking my easter food yeah i want to cook happy day of rice here yeah, i've covered the rice i've covered it a little because i want it to be fast i want this food to be very fast i'm cooking happy day of rice and coconut rice so i already have my wash chicken so i'm using tin tomatoes blended this already this is the tomatoes it's attaché that's red pepper the shamba onions so let's go i also have my blended ginger and garlic i have my, my salt i have my smoked fish for the coconut rice right? so yeah we're just using So we already have Korean, thyme, and other spices here. My onion. I'll just mix everything together. I'll make sure everything mixes up very well so that it has a good taste. Start cooking coconut rice. Yes, in this pot. I'm not using tomatoes. I'm not using. I'm only using fresh pepper. Now I've blended it already. See, I've blended it already. This is this is pepper and little onions. I want it spicy. That's why. That's why you can see that it's much. The rice is small. I just I want the coconut rice spicy, very hot. This by the little bit oil. So add little coconut oil. So even though you are using the vegetable rice, right, just add a little bit of the rice to it. After you are cooking for the rice. Right? So I'll add ginger and garlic. This is the only thing you don't use in the coconut rice. Right? And fresh pepper. Yeah, I will add very little seasoning because I will still add little stock for the chicken that I'm boiling to it. Tell me that, but I love to add. I will also add little salt. Then I dry fish. And bring that fish. I'll add what 
So let me check, okay? So I just want to take some stock from this chicken and add it to my coconut rice. So as for the coconut rice, it will not be very white because I use habanero pepper. So if you want it white, you can use yellow bell pepper or you use the yellow habanero pepper. I use the red one, so it will not be white. Be... Next, I'll be adding my coconut milk. This is my coconut milk. I expected it some days ago, so I kept it in the freezer. So you can see it's still, there's still little eyes inside. So I'll just leave it, let it dissolve for some minutes before I adjust the salt, the seasoning, and add my rice. I need to add a little salt. I don't need to add seasoning things. Everything is fine, so I will just go ahead and add my rice. This part should be okay. The next thing Fry the meat. This should have a lot of oil. Start frying the meat. Love something natural. <laughs> so don't try this. it should be your best option. One thing I love about the coconut rice is the aroma. The coconut aroma persists on it. You see, it's not red. It's not white. Like some people like their coconut rice to be white, but this is not white. You see, it's red. I love it like that. I don't want it. I don't like it dry because I always love it spicy. So for it to be spicy, I have to blend enough red bell pepper, enough uh, habanero pepper. You need to have that spicy coconut rice. So if you don't want it all spicy, or if you want it white, you can use red pepper. Red bell pepper. You can use the yellow one. The 
you write it down. No, red pepper is not hot, so then you you use little habanero pepper, so you still have that white, that cream color. But if you use red pepper, if you use enough, that's going to change the color. So you will not be having the white one first you want. But trust me, the taste is the same. I'm already perceiving the Pokemon. It's almost ready. I just give it a few more minutes. I'm through with the meat. I'm, I'll finish frying the meat now to start cooking the jerk rice. So I've reduced the oil for my onion. Try it for some minutes until I start to perceive the aroma. My garlic and ginger blend. Tomato paste. Try it for some minutes. Now go ahead and add my tomato, tomatoes, pepper, fresh pepper, shambal, tasashi, and onions. So many. Yellow fried spice. I use this spice to take. I'll meet that if you don't like, you don't like yellow fried spice. Pork belly. Oh, right. Also, you've been not made. Using little butter. You can also omit that if you don't want. I like to add butter to my yellow fries. It makes it so fluffy and cool in the mouth. The broth have plenty oil, so that's why I use small oil for frying the tomatoes. The tomatoes. You see, the broth have plenty oil on top. You can see the chicken. The chicken has so much oil in it, so that was the reason why I use small oil for frying. I need to add little salt. I also add seasoning cube too. Yeah, it's okay. So I will need to then I will add my rice now. I see the rice. The rice is much. Just gradually add it to the pot. I reduce it to the lowest. I don't want the rice. I just want the rice to steam. Stay very well and cover the pot. For 15 minutes, I'll check. Then I will have to stay and continue cooking until it's done. So at this stage, I will add. You know, Joel, first you have to stay and stay and stay and stay and stay. If you don't stay like that, the whole thing will be going under. This is the final stage. Throw in some onions. There. 
again and give it like two three minutes i like to add onions on that onion at the end of the cooking flavor it gives to the girl fries oh the aroma when you open the jar of rice. Yes. I'll leave it for a few minutes. Then off it. So yeah, the food is ready. The jar of rice is ready. Mmm. The aroma. Party jar of fries is ready.